Hey, what's going on everyone? Alex here with yet another incredible trap to show you guys so you can checkmate your opponents in just seven moves. I woke up this morning and while drinking my coffee, I wanted to get some games in. And in my first game, out of an Italian opening, my opponent plays this knight to d4 on move three. This brought a huge smile to my face because I actually used to play this a lot back in the day before I switched to playing the Sicilian defense. And I did get a lot of very nice victories. So I decided to make this very quick video to show you guys the trap my opponent was trying to get and also show you the correct way to play here. So if you want to find out how to checkmate your opponent in just 7 moves, continue watching AV Chess Lab. Alright, so since this trap is for black, I decided to flip the board so you guys can visualize it better. The name of this trap is the Blackborn Chilling Gambit. And it does not matter how strong your opponent is, if they're not familiar with this and have never seen it, chances are very high they will fall for this and you will get a very nice victory. If your opponent has never seen this, after you play this move knight to d4, there's no reason why they're not going to capture the pawn on e5 with the knight. You're winning a pawn, a free pawn, and at the same time, you're hitting the square on f7 with your knight and your bishop. Seems like an opening tragedy for black here. But this is the trap we want to set. In this position, we're going to play queen to g5. We're going to hit the knight on e5 with our queen, and we're also going to hit the pawn on g2. Knight captures on f7, forking our queen and rook. This looks hopeless for black. So how can we save this? Well, we're going to take the pawn on g2 with our queen, attacking the rook. This rook is going to come to f1, and here we're going to play queen takes on e4. Now, if queen comes to e2, we're going to take it with the knight. And if bishop to e2, yes, you know it, you found it, knight to f3, checkmate. If you're finding value so far in this video, go ahead and smash the like button for me. So what happens if our opponent does not go rook f1 and instead captures a rook on h8? Let's go back a few moves. And here, our opponent decides to capture the rook on h8. Well, since we were attacking the rook, we're going to go ahead and capture it with check. The only move in the position is to go bishop to f1. We're going to take here the pawn on e4, again, we check on the king. If the queen gets in the way, we're just going to capture her. And if bishop to e2, here we're going to play this very strong, nasty move, bishop to c5. And it does not matter what white does in this position, it will be checkmate very soon. For example, if they go pawn to d3, trying to get some space for the king to move, here we're going to follow with knight to f3. The only move for this king is to go to f1. And we're going to play here this very calm and beautiful crushing move, queen to h4. And it's a crushing move because there's two checkmates here. We're threatening. Queen takes on f2, checkmate. And also queen to h3, checkmate. And there's nothing that white can do to prevent one of these checkmates from happening. If you're enjoying this video so far and would like to see more similar content, subscribe now and hit the bell so you can be notified when the next video is uploaded. So I told you I would show you the correct way to play for white, and even if they do so, you will get an equal position, which is one of the reasons I love this trap so much. So going back here to knight to d4, the best way for white to continue is to go knight takes on d4, we're gonna capture the knight back, get our material, White castles, and here we play knight to f6, hitting the pawn on e4. They're going to play d3, protecting the pawn. Here we continue with d5, with striking the center, we hit the bishop, we hit the pawn. Pawn's going to take, our knight's going to take, and from here, the moves are very simple. We're going to go bishop e7, bishop to e6, we're going to castle our king, and we're going to have a perfectly fine equal uh, game to play, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching and tell me in the comments below if you enjoyed this trap and if you have played it before. As always, click on one of the videos on the screen for more content. Stay safe, have a great day and show respect to your opponent. See you on the next video.